Hello my friends, today I will show you how to use Zoom for video conference, also for church meeting and uh, also for um, webinar. So if you're wondering how I did this to see Android mobile on the screen, I don't have my video camera and I'm using my phone. I will explain you in another tutorial how I did this uh, Android mobile mirroring on the on the screen. So today I'm here to explain you how to use Zoom for video conference room or for church meeting, for uh, Bible study, for uh, work, everything you need to know about Zoom. So I will explain you the basic, very basic things. Here I have three things you need to know. How to sign up and install Zoom on your PC and your mobile and uh, also how to schedule a meeting and how to in enjoying the meeting. Okay, so let's start. First of all, what do you need to do? Sign up, it's free. Put your email address. Okay, just sign up. Okay, here we are. We have to activate the account. Just click on that and here we are. Put your first name surname put the password click continue and save it for me skip this step i don't want to use this step go to my account hey guys if you need to use zoom more than uh, 40 minutes you have to upgrade zoom just have 40 minutes free and let's see, let's see, I will show you exactly here. Uh, you go to plan, plans and pricing. Basic personal meeting is free. You can use it for free for 40 minutes limit on the group meeting. And also is unlimited for one to one person. But if you want more than one people, you can just invite 100 participants. So um, is unlimited number of meeting but it's 40 minutes up to 100 persons. If you want more, you have to upgrade it. This is the reason why I don't use Zoom because I want to talk more than 40 minutes with my church. So I will explain you another software, but I'm here for Zoom today. Okay, just go back. Let's go here on my Zoom profile. Okay, you can change the picture, you put your logo here or your face or whatever. And um, also, this is your personal meeting ID. Don't forget this. You need to have your personal meeting ID. Okay. Now, so the second step, you need to install Zoom on your computer. If you will use your computer, you have to have Zoom on your computer. If you see here resources, just click on here and download Zoom client. Here we are. Zoom also work with the Microsoft Outlook because it uses the calendar and also for IBM notes, etc. So you have to test by yourself. I'm here to explain you the basic, the first function of the Zoom. Okay, download Zoom client for meetings. Okay, open file. I'm installing on my computer right now. Here it is. So you have two options now, join a meeting or sign in. So you have to choose. So if you are a host and you create a meeting, you have to sign in and manage everything. But I will show you a little bit later. For the moment, we have to minimize this. Also, I will show you how to install Zoom on the phone right now if you are on android you go here on play store and search for zoom cloud meetings zoom works also for android and for ios so search also on app store is the same thing install zoom so here it is zoom is installed and i just open up before join a meeting we have to create a meeting so let's go back on the desktop right now we have to create a meeting. Step number two, create and schedule a meeting and invite friends. 
okay let's go to the meetings here so here we are schedule a new meeting click schedule to a new meeting how to make video tutor tutorial okay this is my my meeting my topic description is the same thing when just choose a date i will start at the sunday at the sunday yes and 9 a.m it's good now oh, i like 10 better okay 10 a.m duration is one hour zoom basic plan has 50 minutes time limit okay so just let it as it is time zone choose your time zone for me choose your time zone is okay for me recurring meeting if you have to do this meeting every week or every day in the same time you can use here the option repeating or recurring meeting in the same time so choose daily or weekly for me it's weekly repeat every one week that's good in sunday and you can use you can choose end date if you want okay required meeting password put a password for your meeting in in my case i will put just one two three four one two three four five okay video host and participant here on the video you can choose who will have the video camera on host or participant because if you want host to have the video camera off you can choose it here and if you want participants to have um, their video camera off you can choose it here but in my case i put it i i like both of them to have video camera on audio here on the audio you can choose of what you hear somebody who can enjoy him from telephone just let it both for the moment meeting options enable join before host it's okay uh, participants can enjoy in coming on the meeting before the host came that's that's okay that's all right i use it enable mute participants upon entry you can choose you can choose the participants to be mute but i i leave it as it is enable waiting room okay you can in yeah you can use enable waiting room but you can choose whatever record the meeting automatically i like to record the meeting automatically on the local computer so click save we create a meeting so to join on the meeting we have this url we copy this invitation yes copy the meeting okay and now i copy the meeting and i can send this meeting with email to somebody else let's test let's send to <clears throat> me just paste it here here is the meeting with link and everything inside so what's the subject how to make video tutorial is the subject of the meeting also i can send to somebody else you can put all the email address you wanted to send the meeting okay i will i will send it so i send the message to me okay here is the meeting it's weekly and you can join zoom meeting by clicking this link and here we are the meeting is opening up and the software we installed on the computer is opening up automatically and you can use join with computer audio okay I don't have video camera on this computer but I'm in you can see the participants here on the list this is me here on the list but I will try to enjoy him from my phone and you will see me here on the list okay so now let's enjoy also in the meeting from my, my phone so what I did I enjoy from the link but you can enjoy also in the meeting with this meeting ID just with meeting id and here in this email you also have the meeting id and the meeting password 
So just for in case you need to have it. Let's do it. Let's test. Let's. Yeah, I will open up my phone right now. Here we are. I just click join the meeting. Join the meeting. And put the meeting ID. So let's see the meeting ID. Meeting ID is 977 four seven four zero seven seven you can choose also the name so I choose Daniel Mobile and um, click join the meeting here I am now oh we have a meeting password you remember here it is meeting password use one two three four five and click ok please allow zoom access permission and here it is click allow here i am okay join with video so please wait the meeting host will let you in soon okay guys i didn't start the meeting yet and these participants are waiting is tips to fix who is host and also is daniel mobile is let's say a client or uh, a person who are waiting to join on the meeting i see it's waiting for me on the phone so tips to fix now as a host it will admit the person here so here we are and you will see on the mobile allow zoom to record audio and click allow here how here it is how it looks on the phone and here is how it looks on the computer let me explain you a little bit um, how this platform works here on the pc software you have uh, options uh, audio settings so you will need to set up uh, your headphones or your speakers and microphone go here on the audio and video here it is audio just choose I use my headphones Plantronics. Thank you Plantronics for this professional um, headphones. And uh, also here on the microphone, you can choose the same as system. Okay, it's headset microphone. So it works. So I can see it, it, it works. Also, I just test the speaker and it works. I hear some sound on my uh, years okay virtual virtual background you can use virtual background if you want recording I have 92 gigabytes remaining you can choose here the folder where to record conference so choose the camera on my PC I don't have the camera right now but I can choose from the phone here you can see the participants here you can use chat if you want to just type message on the uh, everyone or you can choose somebody to Daniel you can send a message here test message here I am and I will see from tips to fix I have a message private message here on the phone and you can open up and you can see the message test message close and close and here I am back on the meeting okay if you want to invite somebody else you can use here the link invite and that's it so let's see now on the phone is the same thing you just click here and you will see join audio stop video or then start video here now you are on the meeting and here you you see the host here is down there okay just if you want to say something you raise the hand up and and the host it will see your hands here on the on the screen so this is how zoom works in the next video, we'll show you how to use free conference call. I use free conference call for my church meeting. Free conference call is better for me because it's free.
all time, up to 1,000 visitors. So this is how Zoom works. And it's very professional, but you have to pay if you want to talk more. So when you finish and you need now to leave the meeting, so what you have to do is you just click here on the end of the screen, here, end the meeting on or here on your on your mobile. If you want end the meeting, just to leave is a button here up there. Is leave. As you see, it's leave. Here, leave the meeting. And now, if you are host now and you need to end the meeting, here it is the option for you now to end the meeting. End the meeting for all. Okay, and automatically you see Zoom has uh, recorded this meeting and uh, it will show up a folder now where you to put that file. Okay. So here, here it is. So now if you want to find the recorded meeting, you have to go to documents, your documents. Here you can find the folder Zoom. And here we have all meeting we did. So I will see here, we have meeting 18 megabytes. So just click on this, double click on this convert 01, and it will convert directly to MP4. And here you have recorded meeting. Let's see it to the end. We have recorded meeting here as MP4. So thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, just type a message here on the description and let me know.